Hello, this is Daniel Holleran with Amet Ministries. Amet is the Hebrew word for truth. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> the last uh, program I did was on uh, confirmations of the certain uh, earthquake coming to San Francisco and tsunami. And I said if God had shown me anything else that I would follow up with that. And indeed in the past uh, week, week and a half or so, God keeps showing me things almost daily. <clears throat> First thing I want to say is it's not really a correction, it's an explanation, okay? And before I get on with that, as I say, I'm going through something, my body's going through something, and if I'm a little difficult to understand, I just ask that you have patience. But the Word says, uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of, him, out of them all, okay? Tribulations or trials are just locks, but faith is the key that unlocks those trials. So anyway, I had mentioned the last time, uh, it was about 4 o'clock in the morning, and the Lord said there were five segments to this uh, program I did on the certain confirmation of the coming earthquake and tsunami to San Francisco, and God says add up the numbers. So I added up the numbers. And that night, I believed I came up with 124.83. And I'm going to read that again. Uh, I don't think I'll read it in, in its entirety. But if you go to Psalm 83, those are the nations that have allied themselves to come against Israel. Okay. And if you go to Psalm 124... You can read that. It ends with, um, Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Yeah, the first verse is, um, oh, well, let's see. It says right here, The godly bless God for a miraculous, for a miraculous deliverance. If it, had not, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it, hadn't, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their, wrath, when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul, and it goes on and on and on. Well, I added those numbers up again and I actually came up with 124.88. Now, this was what the Lord did. When I added up those numbers, the Lord took control of these fingers, okay? It reminds me, um, oh, a couple months ago, I was, um, I was supposed to go somewhere, and the Lord had me open up the wrong door. He had me open up the door to another establishment, and that was his way of getting me there. So anyway, if you add up the numbers of those five segments I did, they do add up to 124.88. But as I said that morning, about 4 o'clock in the morning, the Lord gave me 124.83, the purpose of linking Psalms 83 and Psalm 124. Okay. Now, another thing I want to say is the Lord gave that to me a couple weeks before what has now hit the news a few days ago. They actually believe that Iran may be about a month or a month and a half away from uh, assembling or having enough material to assemble a bomb. Okay, so I believe, and Netanyahu's already, already come out and said that um, he's warned Iran, even if he has to go it alone. But of course, he will not be going it alone because God's angels will be directing Israel. Okay, God has not forsaken Israel. Uh, let's see, some things God gives me and he develops them as time goes on. Some things he just gives me and then much later he does something with it. But he showed me the word Madrid. Of course, that has to do with another great fault line that goes through the center of America. That was the most powerful earthquake to ever hit America, I believe, in 1811, 1812. Um, just do your research on that. And I believe... God has shown me that that will definitely happen. God will divide America if we ever divide Israel. Because America is one of the four horns. 
<coughs> excuse me. Now, another fascinating thing God did was a couple weeks ago, I was driving along, <coughs> excuse me, is what I'm dealing with. And uh, he showed me a cloud in the shape of America, of the lower 48. He's done that once before. He showed me another country, and he said, uh, um, I'm going to prove it to you. Bring it up on Google and see the map of this country. And sure enough, it was that country. So anyway, he showed me this map of America in a cloud. And I'm going to read a couple of verses here. And as I say, my apologies for looking down. I'm not accustomed yet to bringing up the screen in front of me and trusting that my face is seen. Okay, Genesis 9.16. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And that speaks to the covenant that the pilgrims struck with God. God, I don't believe God is done with America. America has some judgments coming. But I, do, I don't believe it's time for America to be undone. If America repents. And let's go to Isaiah. If I get on the proper side of Proverbs. Isaiah 19.1 The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I had spoken before about Lodi, which is idol backwards. Okay. And also in the book of Isaiah, let's go to 44.22. And may this be America's destiny. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Okay. I believe I'm going to uh, cut it off right here. And I'm going to continue this message. Once again, the, the this, these are further signs of the coming uh, earthquake and tsunami to San Francisco and some other little tidbits that God has shown me.